Hi, I'm Steve Redmond, Certified Crop Advisor. The short video you're about to watch is from a 1900 mile trip that we took the last week of June through Michigan, uh, Illinois, right through to um, central Iowa, Ames area, all the way north, uh, close to the Minnesota border, and then back down through Illinois and Indiana, back uh, to Michigan. So what you're gonna see is uh, probably the best and worst of the US corn crop. And uh, you can look at the images and then we'll have some summary comments at the end. Today we're in central Illinois, just east of Peoria, in the, uh, at the farm of Jim Zare, uh, looking at some corn. Actually planted the uh, beginning of May, so here we had quite a bit of rainfall in April. Uh, so the, this wasn't April planted, but uh, early May. We have a corn, uh, a lot of this corn is at the uh, V8 to V9 stage, so uh, really nice height. We've done, dug up some plants. Jim has. Uh, about 33,000 uh, plant population here. He tried to drop a strong 34. We've got great corn planter performance here. So we have a final stand right now of about 33,000 uh, plants per acre. So the root system looks great. So we had some wet soils in May, but we still have uh, this root I, we probably chopped off, but uh, we have uh, a really nice uh, root system developing here. No compaction, the roots are going down deep. So th this field, if we, uh, uh, Jim's average here is close to 200. If we have a decent July and August, have some more moisture at pollination, and then through August, this corn should definitely make trend lines, so we should be looking at a, a good uh, 200 bushel corn crop. These are images of the fields that received high rainfall. One farmer commented that they received the annual rainfall of Seattle between mid-May and the end of June. So we're now in north central Iowa looking at uh, some of the water damaged areas where there's a lot of unseeded acres. This is pretty typical of what we've seen for mile after mile as we came north of Ames. So this corn plant in my left hand or my right hand was planted uh, about the first week of May. It's about that V6, V7 stage which is pretty normal. Uh, this this corn plant has potential to still uh, follow trend line yields, so we're talking in this area 180 to 200 bushels. But many fields have corn plants that are at this stage, so very yellow. You can see over my shoulder there's areas where there's very few plants. So this is quite typical of what we're seeing in the worst areas uh, where the part of the field is uh, the corn's probably fine. If we get some heat and it dries up, uh, we're going to get decent yields, but we have large areas. Um, significant areas we believe of, of crop that's water damaged that uh, is not going to give us trend line yields. Of course with high rainfall comes soil erosion and we passed many fields with topsoil that had moved from hills and mid slopes into low lying areas causing further damage to the corn crop. So there you have it, a quick look at the Midwest corn crop. There are large areas in central and northern Iowa with water damaged corn from high rainfall. And the question is, can the other corn growing states, especially Illinois and Indiana, with late planted acres, uh, produce average or above average yields to make up the difference? This is Steve Redmond, Certified Crop Advisor. Have a great day and enjoy your summer. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.